and we're back for another video. Yep, Colton's hacking on Sonic Boom Fan 101 here, back again with more of this Chevy truck S series pickup tape. We finished up side one, and now we're gonna do side two. Um, right after I finished up side one video, uh, I accidentally dropped the the tape. Accidentally, like, fell down to the ground. I just hope it still plays fine, but anyway, we're going to play side two. Let's get side two in. I just hope it plays fine after what happened, so. Oh, also, by the way, uh, I have a cheeseburger right here for me to eat. So, I'll mostly have this phone down while the tape's playing, so let's put the tape in. Oh, it still plays fine. Alright. Here we go. This part of the program discusses trailering tips, special options, and optional sound systems you may have purchased to customize your new truck. There will be a few seconds of silence between each selection. Child restraint procedures. For the safety of children and infants traveling in your vehicle, you should always secure them in an infant or child seat restraint according to applicable laws. The information or instructions included with the infant or child seat will specify whether it should be used with an infant or an older child. With General Motors truck safety belts, there is no additional equipment necessary to secure the child or infant seat restraint in your vehicle unless the restraint requires a top strap anchor as specified by the restraint installation instructions. If the child restraint has a top strap, always secure the child restraint at the location where the top strap can be anchored. To have an anchor installed or to obtain instructions on how to properly install the anchor yourself, see your dealer. Follow the manufacturer's instructions for the installation of the infant or child seat and be sure to pull the shoulder belt all the way out of the retractor to set the lock. Off-road driving. For the safety of both you and your passengers, please drive your truck carefully, both on and off-road. Two important factors to keep in mind when off-roading are that you and your passengers must always wear your safety belts and you should always drive on marked trails only. Also, make sure that the loads that you're carrying are properly secured to prevent them from moving when the terrain gets rough. For more information on off-roading safety tips and driving procedures, be sure to read section four in your owner's manual. Trailering tips. Your new S-Series is a versatile vehicle designed to carry people and cargo. But bear in mind that towing a trailer and or carrying cargo will affect handling, durability, and fuel economy. The certification label is on the driver's door lock pillar. This label offers information on maximum gross vehicle weight, maximum gross axle weight your vehicle can safely handle, and recommended tire inflation pressures. The maximum loaded trailer weight your vehicle can tow depends upon the total weight of the vehicle, including passengers, cargo, and additional options purchased. Your truck comes with a 7-lead trailering harness taped and bundled in the left corner of the vehicle. The harness has no connector, and you should have a qualified service person wire your harness for you. To learn more about the trailering aspects of your truck, your Chevy dealer can supply you with product literature, which includes trailering tips and cautions, and can assist you in determining that your needs don't exceed the load or trailering capabilities of your new truck. Four-wheel drive. With four-wheel drive, you'll be able to keep your vehicle moving through a wide variety of road conditions. However, you should avoid driving on dry pavement while in four-wheel drive. Driving with four wheels engaged on dry pavement will increase tire wear, cause hard transfer case shifting, and reduce fuel economy. It will also cause difficult movement or front-end hopping when making turns. If you have a manual Instatrack system, you can shift from two-wheel drive to four-high or from four-high back to two-wheel drive while the vehicle is moving. The front axle portion of the diagram on the transfer case shift console will light up when you shift into four-wheel drive mode. And remember 
that it's normal for the front axle light to come on and go off shortly after shifting into or out of a four-wheel drive mode. However, if the front axle light does not come on after shifting into a four-wheel drive mode, or the light stays on after shifting out of a four-wheel drive mode, see your authorized Chevrolet dealer for a system check. To shift a vehicle with a manual InstaTrack system into or out of four low, vehicle speed must be below three miles per hour. To begin this process, place the transmission in neutral with an automatic transmission or depress the clutch with a manual transmission. Then press the transfer case shift button on the shifter lever and shift with one continuous motion. Don't pause in the neutral range of the transfer case when shifting into four low as this could result in some gear clash. And keep in mind that the neutral position of your InstaTrack system should only be used if the vehicle is being towed. Refer to sections 4 and 5 of the owner's manual for additional information on towing your truck. If your S-Series is equipped with the electronic transfer case, shifting from two-wheel drive to four high or four low is as easy as pushing a button on your instrument panel and following some simple procedures. The transfer case switches are located on the right side of your instrument panel above the radio controls. Amber indicator lights in the switches show you which setting you have selected. When shifting, an indicator light will flash until the shift is completed, then remain solidly lit. You can shift in and out of four high at any speed. To shift from two high or four high into four low, you must be stopped or be moving less than three miles per hour with the transmission in neutral on automatic transmissions or the clutch pedal depressed on manual transmissions. When the transfer case is in four low, the amber light on the switch will remain illuminated. For more information on the transfer case operation, helpful off-road driving tips, and maintenance procedures, see sections two, four, and six of your owner's manual. Cruise control. The cruise control switches are mounted on the end of the multifunction turn signal lever. To engage the cruise control, first turn it on then accelerate to the desired speed and push the set button on the end of the turn signal lever. The cruise control disengages when you depress the brake pedal or clutch pedal or move the control switch to the off position. The off position will erase the memory of the cruise control. To resume your preset speed after braking, momentarily move the switch to the RA, resume accelerate position, at speeds above 25 miles per hour the system automatically recalls your preset speed. Your cruise control is equipped with a tap-up, tap-down feature, which allows you to adjust the set speed without disengaging the system. To adjust the set speed upward, momentarily move the switch to RA. To adjust the speed down, momentarily depress the engage button in the end of the stalk. Each activation of the switch or button changes the speed setting approximately one mile per hour. For more information on cruise control, see section 2 in your owner's manual. AM FM stereo radio with seek scan, digital clock, and stereo cassette tape player. Your electronically tuned AM FM stereo radio has some very convenient functions, like speaker balance and bass and treble slide adjustments. The seek button allows you to seek out the next available station while the scan button allows you to briefly sample all of the radio stations available. If while scanning you find a station you enjoy, quickly tap the scan button again to lock that station in. To preset AM and FM radio stations, first find a favorite station by using the tuning knob or seek and scan controls. To lock in that station, press the set button and within five seconds, one of the numbered buttons. If you wish to preset more than 4 AM or 4 FM stations, you can combine the numbered buttons. So if you push two adjacent buttons simultaneously, such as buttons 1 and 2, 2 and 3, or 3 and 4, you'll preset another station for a grand total of 7 AM and 7 FM stations. To set your electronic clock, you must use the set, seek, and scan buttons with the AM FM stereo radio. First, press the set button, and within five seconds, press the scan button to set the correct hour. By pressing the set button again within five seconds, you can use the seek button to set the minutes. The forward and reverse arrows allow you to move through your tape quickly. 
the DNR, dynamic noise reduction button, reduces background hiss on both the radio and cassette tapes. To switch playing sides of the tape without removing it, press the PROG, program button, on the cassette player. For information and maintenance tips on your tape player, see section 3 of your owner's manual. If your sound system includes the graphic equalizer, you will be able to adjust the bass, mid-range, and treble until you get the sound you want. The system also features a CRO2, chromium dioxide button, which adjusts the audio quality for chromium or metal tapes, and an AMST button for AM stereo broadcasts. Your sound system reproduces a full dynamic range of sound. As you're listening to the following music selections, adjust the volume, fade, balance, bass and treble controls to suit your tastes. The bass control adjusts the lower sounds like bass drums and tom-toms. The treble control affects higher sounds like snare drums or cymbals. then adjust until the speaker levels are set to your satisfaction. We wish you many years of driving and listening pleasure in your new truck. Now we'll wrap up this presentation with music selections designed to let you adjust and get acquainted with your controls. Okay, here's the music.
Okay, that's all we have left for this tape. So, yeah. That's it. Yep. The tape's stopping. Stop. Okay, that's it. Oh, frick. I gotta I got get, got get the tape out. I'll use my other hand. Let's do that. There we go. All right, that's about it for this video on the Chevy Tahoe tape. Wait, this is Chevy S-Series pickup, not Chevy Tahoe. But I might get the Chevy Tahoe tape, or maybe Chevy Blazer or CK pickup. I don't know. They are on eBay. I'll get them someday so I can show them all to you viewers out there. So, yeah. Thank you viewers for watching this video. This is a hard-to-find tape. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And I will see you guys next time. This is Colton Tackett on Sonic Boom Fan 101 signing off. Peace out.